2021. This virtual public hearing is now considered open. My name is Brendan Davey. I'm the Regional Supervisor for the North Carolina Division of Air Quality's Asheville Regional Office. I've been appointed to be the hearing officer for this public hearing by the Director of the Division of Air Quality, Mike Abrazinskis. The purpose this evening is to receive your comments, either written or oral, for the consideration in the issuance of a new air quality permit to Duke Energy Carolina's LLC, Belouze Creek Steam Station, for the closure of the ash basin and the excavation, handling, and transport of the coal ash to a new lined landfill located on site. The proposed location is 3195 Pine Hall Road, Walnut Cove, North Carolina. The focus of this hearing and the only focus is to receive public comments on the proposed air quality permit as they relate to the applicability of air quality regulations. The Division of Air Quality is conducting this public hearing digitally to allow for public participation while protecting the public health under current guidance to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The public hearing announcement was published in the Stokes News and on the Division of Air Quality's website on May 20th, 2021. The public comment period closes June 23rd, 2021 at 5 p.m. During this virtual public hearing, we will be receiving oral comments from those individuals who pre-registered to speak at this event. If you are having technical difficulties with WebEx, you can use the chat feature in WebEx to ask questions or seek assistance. You can also visit the Division of Air Quality's website using the link in the public notice for this hearing for instructions on various ways to connect to WebEx. Joining me for this hearing tonight by WebEx are from DAQ's Raleigh Central Office, Michael Pajetra, Deputy Director for the Division of Air Quality, Mark Suella, Chief, Air Permit Section, Zainab Nassif, Division of Air Quality's Public Information Officer, Rahat Ashik, Environmental Engineer with the Rules Development Branch, and Ed Martin, Environmental Engineer with the Permitting Section. From DAQ's Winston-Salem Regional Office, we have Davis Murphy, Compliance Supervisor. I want to thank everyone involved in getting this public hearing scheduled and organized, with special thanks to Rahat Ashik and Zaydeb Nassif for their expertise in setting up this event. I would also like to thank everybody for their attendance and interest in this virtual public hearing tonight. The North Carolina Coal Ash Management Act requires environmental permits related to coal ash be subject to public participation. As such, we are holding this public hearing to receive pertinent public comments on whether to allow or deny issuance of an air permit to Duke Energy Carolinas for the previously mentioned proposed coal ash lined landfill and associated ash excavation and handling activities. The comment period for this permit opened on May 20, 2021, and will close on June 23rd at 5 p.m. In addition to your oral comments tonight, the division is also accepting comments via mail, electronic mail, and by phone to a voicemail box. The email address and phone number for the voicemail is displayed on your screen. Copies of the permit application, the air permit application review, the draft air permit, and other information concerning the Duke Energy Carolina's application are available to the public at the following locations. One, the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality, Winston-Salem Regional Office, located at 450 West Haynes Mill Road, Suite 300, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Or two, the Division of Air Quality Central Office, Permit Section, located at 217 West Jones Street in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you haven't done so and wish to review these materials in person, they are available to you during normal business hours at the locations I mentioned. However, due to COVID-19 pandemic, an appointment is required. Please call in advance to make an appointment. A copy of the draft permit and permit application review are also available on the Division of Air Quality's website at www.ncair.org in the section titled Public Engagement. The order of events for this hearing are as follows. First, Ed Martin of our Raleigh Central Office, who reviewed the permit application and wrote the draft permit, will discuss the application, the air quality permit, and the air permitting procedures. This will be followed by the public comment period. We will receive oral comments from those individuals who pre-registered to speak at this event. This will allow us to have an accurate hearing record. Only those who have pre-registered will be called on to speak. If we have extra time, we will invite additional comment. 
To provide enough time for public comments, this meeting will be conducted in the following manner. All efforts will be made to call speakers in the same order of your registrations. Oral statements will be limited to a maximum of five minutes in order to hear as many citizens as possible. And this public hearing is scheduled to adjourn no later than 9 p.m. tonight. We will call the names of each of the pre-registered speakers in order, and our WebEx host will unmute the speaker when it is their turn to speak. We will also announce the name of the next speaker in the queue so they can prepare to provide comments. Please do not start speaking until the WebEx host has indicated that you are able to unmute your microphone. Your time will begin when you have unmuted your microphone. We will keep track of your time and will announce when your five minutes have expired. Please respect the time of all who wish to present oral comments tonight by adhering to the time limits and closing your remarks as quickly as possible once time is up. Cross-examination of the person presenting comments or me, the hearing officer, will not be allowed. However, as the hearing officer, I may ask questions to the presenter for clarification. Questions directed to the Division of Air Quality staff members will not be answered during this hearing. If you have questions for DAQ staff, we can provide you with our contact information so you may contact them after the meeting during normal business hours. After receiving comments this evening, the hearing record will be closed. However, the period for submitting comments does not close until Wednesday, June 23, 2021 at 5 p.m. Again, the only focus of this virtual public hearing is the presentation of comments related to the air quality issues associated with the new air quality permit for the Duke Energy Carolinas facility and the applicability of air quality regulations. Only relevant air quality comments can be considered in my final recommendations to our division director. I will now call on Ed Martin, permitting engineer of the Division of Air Quality, Raleigh Central Office, to discuss the air permitting procedures and permit application review. All right, Ed. Thanks, Brendan. In order to comply with the North Carolina Coal Ash Management Act of 2014, the Federal Disposal of Coal Combustion Residuals from Electric Utilities Rule, known as the CCR Rule, and the Blue Streak Steam Station Department of Environmental Quality Coal Combustion Residuals Surface Impoundment Closure Determination of April 1, 2019, mandating closure of the existing ash basin via excavation. Duke Energy plans to excavate material from the ash basin and will construct a new lined closure landfill in which the excavated material from the existing ash basin will be deposited. Historically, ash generated from coal combustion at the site was sluiced and sent to the ash basin. However, modifications were completed to convert from wet to dry fly ash handling, and fly ash is currently routed to storage silos where it is sold and removed from the site. Boiler bottom ash is dewatered and deposited in the ash landfill. Excavation of the ash basin is scheduled to begin in 2021 and continue through 2031. Increased fugitive particulate lead and toxic emissions from the project result from the following. Vehicle traffic on the haul roads that transport excavated ash from the ash basin to the closure landfill. From excavation, handling, and loading of ash from the existing ash basin and unloading excavated ash at the closure landfill and due to wind erosion of ash piles at the existing ash basin, the new closure landfill, and at the ash landfill. With this modification, all facility-wide air toxic pollutants emitted have been shown by air dispersion modeling to be less than 11% of the acceptable ambient level concentrations beyond the facility's premises. This is the first step of a significant permit modification. Duke must file a Title V air quality permit application for these changes within 12 months after the first 
excavation of ash from the ash basin or the first placement of generated ash in the new closure landfill, whichever occurs first. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. At this time, we will hear from those who pre-registered to provide oral comments this evening. When your name is called, our WebEx host will enable you to unmute your microphone so you can provide your comments. To ensure our records are complete, please clearly state your name and who you are representing. Your comments will be recorded, so speak loudly and clearly towards your microphone or telephone. Please do not start speaking until you have unmuted your microphone. It is critically important for the audio clarity of your comments that you turn off any speakers and that, you, that can create feedback. If there is significant feedback on your line, we may need to mute your call and attempt to come back to you later. If we call your name but cannot hear you, please check to see if you are muted on the WebEx screen on your computer. If you are having audio issues, try a different method of audio connection within WebEx or use the Call Me feature to have WebEx call your personal telephone. If we still cannot hear you, we will proceed to the next registered speaker, but we'll call your name again at the end of the hearing. I will do my best to pronounce your names correctly and apologize in advance for any errors. So we will now begin taking oral comments. Rahat, earlier we had no confirmed registered speakers. Can you confirm there are currently no registered speakers at this time? That is correct, Brandon. Thank you, Rahat. We do have some remaining time for those who didn't register to speak. So at this time, if you would like to speak and did not register, please raise your hand in WebEx or press star 3 on your phone so that we can allow you to be unmuted and provide your comments. Please announce your name clearly at the beginning of your comments. Once you have provided your comments, please lower your hand or again press star 3. Rahat, do you see anybody raising their hand or pressing star 3 to comment? Um, not at this time. Okay, we're going to give it another 30 seconds to 60 seconds, see if anybody shows up or would like to speak. Give it a little more time. Okay, as a final check, if you would like to speak, please raise your hand in WebEx or press star 3 on your phone so that we can allow you to be unmuted and provide comments. Rahat, do we have anybody uh, selecting the option to speak at this time? Not at this time. Okay, in light of that, uh, if you did not speak tonight but still want to provide comments on the issuance of an air quality permit to Duke Energy Carolinas, remember that there are several other ways to provide comments until the end of the comment period on June 23, 2021 at 5 p.m. You can call 919-707-8726 and leave a voicemail message with your first and last name, whom you are representing in the state that your comments are related to Duke Energy Carolinas. Or you can provide written comments until the comment period ends on June 23, 2021. To provide written comments, please email them to daq.publiccomments at ncdenr.gov with duke space blues dot 21a in the subject line. You can also mail written comments to the address listed in the public notice. Based on the information received during tonight's hearing, and comments received throughout the comment period, I will make a recommendation to the Director of the Division of Air Quality for his consideration in making a final decision on whether to issue the air quality permit to Duke Energy Carolinas. I thank you for your cooperation, attendance, and interest in the air quality permitting process. This public hearing is now adjourned. <laughs>